certainly is a critical moment. Agri-food systems will play a really critical role moving forward. This is a region which is plagued with issues with regards to crop production, uh, water scarcity and so on. And I think the targets that we have in the future, we've already done quite a lot and we're on a good track, but we're still very far behind. A lot of capital needs to be deployed and this kind of event brings the right kind of people together to talk through the issues at hand and come up with meaningful solutions. Food is playing a bigger role than ever before. And especially at this COP, it's been a real talking point. Controlled environment agriculture, or more specifically vertical farming, such as what we do at Vertical Future, is one solution which we should all be looking at. Bringing the right kind of capital to play, bringing government support, customers, and broader institutions that are interested in, in this area is, is critical and COP28 presents a unique opportunity for us to do this and to work together to bring about solutions for the future. There's definitely a concerted effort in terms of achieving climate-related goals for the region and more broadly, but I still think a lot more needs to be done. There's a lot of, a lot of talk and now what we need is action. There have been some really big announcements at this COP, which have been very, very positive. But I think moving forward, we need to ensure that everybody acts upon those decisions. And food, water, uh, and many other issues should be at the forefront, uh, and indeed have been very key talking points at COP28.